Hey guys, Luke here, welcome back to episode 29 of my French Road to Glory. Now this is potentially the last episode, uh, or last proper episode I should say. Um, so we only need 4 points to win the Division 1 title, which is our ultimate goal. Although we would like to have the rebrews and that sort of stuff. If we win the Division 1 title beforehand, that's where it will end. Uh, in saying that though, we do need to get those wins. We're taking on this, t this guy, he has a really, really nice squad. Ibrahimovic up top, he's always a threat. So I was particularly worried. A player in Division 1 has uh, Ibrahimovic. Is uh, someone I don't really want to come up against. Some of the other players I can handle, but Ibrahimovic just the crosses into him. I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to handle him, but we did take a pretty early lead. I think it was about eight minutes um, into the game. Thankfully, we had Mangala and a few of those sort of players who can sort of keep up with the Lavetsis and the Sanchezes of the uh, of the world. At the same time, we couldn't handle them just then. Um, thankfully, I think it was Ibrahimovic missed. We had a nice little chance there with Cabela, 40 minutes in, but we put it wide. Uh, those sort of chances, I'm sort of used to being able to finish them. Uh, thankfully, uh, sorry, uh, a little bit unlucky that we that we actually didn't. Uh, I was going to say thankfully that we made a great save just before that. But moving into 74th minute here, Ibrahimovic, who we're talking about being worried about. He's just going to have a really nice finish there. It Honestly, it was one of those ones where it felt like I could do nothing. I tried my best. We had a few slide tackles where uh, probably in another game we would have ended up making the tackle, but it wasn't meant to be. And I was sort of thinking like, man, is this how it's going to be, we're not going to be able to get the Division 1 title, but thankfully, Griezmann comes up with the goods, I'm not sure who it was, I think it was Menes who did a really nice run down the right wing, crossed it in for his uh, buddy on the left wing, and he uh, headed it home, uh, very lucky, uh, also super lucky that Lavetsi put that wide, and that's how the game ended, I do think it was a deserved win, um, although, had the dude got a draw, I probably couldn't have been too angry at it, because, I don't know, I suppose it was, um, would have been fair enough, but here is the man that we've all been waiting for, Frank Ribery. You see we paid 497000 which at the time, I know he's come down a lot in uh, the price cap, but he was the cheapest on the market by about forty to 50000 so um, super lucky. Uh, we got him on open bid, and I actually spent days trying to get him. Like I know in this episode, I haven't really showed trying to blame whatever, but we, we, had the, we had the money for a fair while, and I was trying to get him. Um, didn't want to go into the last few games without him. I wanted to play more than one game, and, but hopefully we won't have to play more than one game with him. Um, but yeah, I, I was trying to buy him, and I saw that he was going for in the morning, he's going for about 490 something, whatever, and then I was sort of getting a little bit too greedy, trying to get him too cheap, and then people just, like, started, like, paying stupid amounts of money for him at certain times of the day, and I was like, no, I'll wait till tomorrow, and then didn't happen the next day, but we finally got our man, it finally happened, I sort of ended up giving up at one stage, and then I just threw on a cheeky bid and ended up getting it, so uh, that was nice. So he had a nice little run early on, but at the same time, we only need one point in this game, so I'm not going to go all out attack, I just don't see the point in it. Uh, or it would be nice to have him score a goal or whatever, um, and you know, I try my best to do that, um, got it out to him as much as possible, but at the same time, this dude was a good defender, they're good defenders in Division 1, and I'm not sure what sort of situation this dude's in, but he was defending quite well, and as was myself, and I was just, I was just fine with wasting time, as you can see there, because all we needed was one point, and we got that one point, and now we're the Division 1 champions, we, we did it, we did what we uh, went, went out for, we achieved what we wanted, we got the players that we wanted, I mean, you might say Pogba, why wouldn't you play Pogba, but just didn't fit into my plans, and he never did. I mean, he was in the bench of the original side, but we completed, we completed our dream team uh, that we had at the start of the, um, start of the series, and it was something that I wasn't really sure that I was going to be able to do. So uh, you can see 23 points, exactly what we needed. We had one game in hand, so we didn't even lose in Division 1, just the two draws, and that was the last game and the first game or something. But very, very happy with how this series went. Uh, this is not the actual finale, it's going to be a finale episode going through all the stats and the final team and all that sort of stuff, so make sure you stick around for that, it'll be in the next few days. Uh, but yeah, this is the end of this episode, hopefully uh, you can drop a like, it's a little bit of a short one, but it's not really too much happening. Um, but yeah, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to my channel, uh, share it with your friends, um, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, my handle is at MrLukeMyT, and come back and check out the finale. I'll see you guys then. Bye!